Unraveling idioms, let out the rope. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we'll be diving into the intriguing phrase, let out the rope. This idiom, like many in English, carries more meaning than its literal interpretation. So, grab your linguistic gear. We're about to untangle this expression and discover its practical applications in everyday conversation. Before we explore the figurative nuances, let's understand the phrase literally. To let out the rope means to release more rope from your hold, allowing it to extend further. Imagine you're holding a rope tied to a boat, and you let it out so the boat can drift further into the water. It's about giving more slack or space. In a figurative sense, to let out the rope means to give someone more freedom or leeway in a situation. It's like loosening your grip in a scenario, allowing more flexibility or room to maneuver. For example, if a parent lets out the rope, they might give their child more freedom to make their own decisions. Let's see how this phrase works in real life contexts. One, parenting, after much consideration, I decided to let out the rope and allow my daughter to choose her own extracurricular activities. Two, management. The team leader felt that by letting out the rope, the team members would be more creative and take ownership of their projects. Three, education. The teacher let out the rope by allowing the students to pick their own topics for the final project, fostering a more engaging learning environment. While, let out the rope, is a versatile phrase, its usage might vary based on cultural contexts and scenarios. It's essential to gauge the situation and the familiarity of your audience with such idioms to ensure effective communication. And that's a wrap on the phrase, let out the rope. We've navigated through its literal and figurative meanings and observed how it's used in various contexts. I hope this exploration adds an interesting twist to your language learning journey. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about understanding the culture and context that give them life. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.